Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Mafia Definitive Edition. In today's video, we are going to be looking at our first patch note video for Mafia Definitive Edition. I'm really excited to be doing this because there are some pretty interesting updates here. So as of recording this video right now, unfortunately this hasn't dropped for me yet, but I am able to look at everything that is inside this update. So let's get to the biggest thing here, because honestly, this is incredible. And what we have been asking for since they showed the first gameplay for Mafia Definitive Edition. Custom HUD options. I'm so happy that they're listening to the audience. Hangar 13 have done a fantastic job. Since even that trailer, they have implemented stuff into the game after we mentioned it. And custom HUD options are one of the biggest requests that I have seen. So it says in the update, use these new options to customize the in-game HUD. If, for example, you want to make explorations of Lost Heaven feel less guided or take a particularly pleasing screenshot, Switch the in-world main objective marker on and off. That's fantastic. Switch minimap enemy markers on and off on all difficulty settings. Previously, enemy markers were always on outside of classic mode. Switch navigation features like turn-by-turn -turn instructions and the minimap GPS on and off. And enable the minimum HUD mode to hide HUD elements, including minimap, the speedometer, and objective text while playing. So yes, you can now, in theory, take screenshots. Now, I do have the ability to do that already, but that's because I downloaded a mod, and that's what you've been seeing in the background. But imagine being able to do that, but on the Xbox and PS4, as well as PC, without modding the game. So yes, this is something that I have been asking for from the start. When that original A Trip to the Country footage came out, when you were told, go to the truck, and it had a big map marker on it saying, hey, look here, here's the truck, we all said, no, please, please don't do that. And that has now been fixed. So all of these will be optional. If you want those to still be there, they can be. And I know for a fact that from this point on, most of my Let's Play episodes are going to have the HUD almost off. I'm going to have the minimap, of course, because that's what the original game did, but everything else, including the objective marker, will now be turned off. Noir mode. Enable noir mode to enjoy Mafia Definitive Edition's gameplay and cinematics with a vintage black and white look. Noir mode can be toggled on and off via the game options screen. Now I've said that of course this hasn't released yet, so I'm just going to do some editing magic. Ta-da! There you go, that's what it'll look like, probably. It's probably going to look a lot better than that, but yes, it gives you an idea of what this will look like. Knowing my luck, when I release this video, the update's going to be out and you've already seen it, but I think this looks pretty bloody nice. And the next big inclusion here is free ride content. Now that you're off to the races and enjoying the free ride mode, depending on which vehicle you're driving and where you're driving it, you might find one of a couple of new gameplay features that we've added to the mode. We'll leave the specifics for you to discover and hope you fare well in Lost Heaven. <laughs> I've only just got what this is. <laughs> I've read that a couple of times before making this video. Taxi missions are back, aren't they? That's amazing. I love that. That's so cool. So yeah, we're going to have taxis. And I'm hoping that they can keep doing this and they can keep adding these little elements into the free ride mode. They could almost have the free ride mode like Grand Theft Auto has its online mode. They could keep adding small little updates to it. So we'll always have something new and interesting to discover. I think that would be absolutely incredible. Now for fixes. Yes, with every patch update, we'll get some fixes. And there's three listed here. Address they report issue that sometimes prevented the correct vehicles from unlocking in the player garage upon completion of the optional Lucas Bertone missions. Players who have completed these missions should find the correct vehicles in their garage the next time they start the game. That's positive. Addressed a reported concern that a special assassination animation, by the way, that's really bloody hard to say in one go, sometimes wasn't triggering correctly during the mission The Saint and the Sinner. And last but not least, addressed a reported concern that certain cinematics would occasionally show 
a black screen. Now I've had that one and I'm really bloody glad they fixed that. Oddly enough, I've only had that happen on the Xbox version of the game, not on PC. So that's a little bit weird, but I'm glad they fixed it. I've got to give a massive I've got to say well done to Hangar 13. You guys are really bloody listening and I am so happy. <laughs> you cannot believe when a game comes out and is getting constant updates and the developer is listening, you know they're doing a good job. Before I started covering Mafia, I was covering Kingdom Come Deliverance, which of course has its own connections, oddly enough, to Mafia. And it was the same case with Warhorse Studios. They were really supportive of their game and their community. And I think that Hangar 13 is really trying to push hard with making this the best experience it can be. And that's awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely did. I'm really surprised about the fair thing. I didn't realize that at first. <laughs> That's taking me by surprise a little bit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys. What's up?